Hey everybody, Mandolin coming to you. A little bit of a new spot for you. Tell me how you like it. So I'm coming to you about this full moon in Aries, explosive energy. And I'm going to get into a little bit of the alignments and the energies. But then I am going to go on to the information that I've received and leave all of the details to the astrologers. You will find their links in the description below. And while you're down there, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're new. Welcome aboard. Get ready because this train's kicking into overdrive. If you are one of my loyal subscribers, thank you so much. I learned so much from you and I enjoy the friendship that we've developed over time. Like this video. Share this video. Let's get the word out. Let's get these people working and understanding these energies. And of course, just go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, be kind, but be honest, because we're all about honesty here. And you're welcome. And to reach out to me, my email is always in the description as well. So with all the business done, let's get down to what's going on with this full moon in Aries. It's going to happen tomorrow on October 1st at 5.05 p.m. my time, which is East Coast United States. And wow, what the things that I've seen in, in these alignments, the things that I've experienced, this is very transformative. All of the rest of this year is. We're transformative all the time anyway. But here are the details, some of the details. So we're going to have a full moon in Aries, okay, at 9 degrees, 9 degrees, 9, okay, it's an Indian, is we're, we're starting something new. And it's a full moon, so we're releasing energies. We're illuminating those things that need to be let go. And that brings me to another interesting point. <clears throat> that we've got Aries, okay, which is the moon, opposing Libra. And a full moon, that's what it is, they're opposing. Okay, new moon is conjunct, they're together. And it's very interesting because these are both masculine energies that are being pumped in. Okay, they're Libra and Aries are both masculine energies. But Aries and Libra are also naturally polarities of each other. They oppose each other on the chart. The balance that we get from that <clears throat> is we've got Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter, the expansion, the abundance, the luck. And Saturn, rules, structure, law, government, father figure. Both of those are in the feminine energy of Capricorn. So that's where some balance comes in. Capricorn is very strong. It's a very strong. Um, and that is the air versus the fire also because Libra is air and Aries is fire. So that creates a combustion energy. And that's why I say this is going to be a combustible full moon occurrence. How does this show up in your life? Okay, what things do you have so deep inside that you thought you had healed maybe or that you were in denial that even needed healing? What things are in there? And these go down to the innermost things to the very earliest years of your childhood, of your experience a lot of the times. The thing about Mars is Mars says, hey, look at me. Wait a minute. I matter. Me. And Libra is all about balance and about relationships. So you have to find the balance of serving your own good within a relationship, possibly. Is this family relationships? I will make public a video that I recorded this weekend. I only released it private out of respect for um, one of the people involved and it was a very hard thing for me to do and that illustrates this very thing. What relationships are we supposed to let be redefined and family comes into this for me. May for you, may not. So this is a time that is setting us up for the expansion that is to come. Pam Gregory was one of my sources and if you guys hear the dogs barking, they're not going to stop because there's people up and down the road. We just have to deal with it. So again, Pam Gregory was one of my greatest sources on this. Um, 
<clears throat> so I'm going to include that video and I encourage you to go and check it out. Um, things are exploding, redefining yourself as you integrate into society because society is shifting too. The collective, as we call it, is shifting. People are awakening. All of this so-called turmoil around us has its purpose because it brings things up that we need to shift or that we need to integrate or that we need to change. So anytime there's combustion, know that it's bringing things into your awareness and you need to have that open ear, that open heart to the soul communication that is happening. You just have to tune into it. And the hardest part of that is trusting it. So let go of these things that bring about doubt that bring about um, where you think somebody else, their need or want, or even opinion is more important than you. And that brings about boundaries. Because if you're like me, um, family has been very important to me and family has just completely imploded during this. There comes a time when you need to realize that by doing too much, Sometimes you are either keeping that person from stepping into their own or you are, you're stepping on the toes of another that is getting ready to step into a certain energy. And in doing so, um, you've got to realize that these things are the key to that other person's growth. And while you feel like maybe you are letting somebody down, what you are really doing is lifting them up and like I said this is all about polarities this full moon there are so many polarities happening here uh, in the energies that combustible yes so let's bring this down into the you that doesn't follow astrology and doesn't understand it because I understand that mentality so very well how do you apply this well be sensitive to the energies that are coming in to help you and to influence you and to guide you. And also realize that there are changes happening within you all the time. I have felt such incredible guilt about redefining my role in a relationship with a family member. But what I realize is that's liberating to me and that's liberating to that family member, even if it does create tough times in the interim. So in this energy that's here to assist you to shift things so that it's more aligned with what it is that you desire to manifest. And that way you can define more easily with this release of the full moon. You can define more easily your role in society, your role in the collective. You cannot fulfill this desired role if you're still carrying around these l limiting energies. So with that being said, the last thing that I want to do is, since it is going to be so explosive, I would like for you to just take a moment and ground with me. And this is a technique that I learned from my, my friend Sonali Sheth who um, I met and, and share QHHT with and she did a session with me and she ended the session with this very powerful grounding exercise that I now utilize often. So take that deep breath, find that place to your center. And then take a deep breath in to sit with that center. And then I want you to picture the earth. And at the center of the earth is this huge, just heavy, strong metal bowl, ball. And I want you to feel that ball pull you to it. Just feel the pull and allow it. 
Feel yourself become connected to the energies of the earth, of Gaia. And then feel the embracing arms of Mother Gaia. And let her help you to transmute these energies that create confusion, fear, anxiety. Deep breath in and as you let it out, settle into peace and tranquility. and feel it disperse throughout your body as though it's a gentle rain of pink and brilliant white energy like little sparklers as it sizzles through all of your energy. And then as you take in one last deep breath, Pull that energy up through your feet, your legs, your torso. Let it sit in your heart for just one moment. And then let it continue up through your throat, in your face, and up into your head. And let it Go through your crown chakra, the top, up here, and find its way to source energy. And in that, you have grounded to the earth energies and to the source energies. And let that blend of energy sit in your heart and offer you strength and encouragement and love and healing as you release in this full moon explosive full moon in Aries so that is my full moon video for you we will have a new moon in Libra coming up very soon and that's going to be interesting because we also have another full moon at the end of the month all in October take your time don't be impulsive like Aries wants you to see your path clearly do not make a decision based on a crisis or anxiety see the full picture and ask your higher self to help you make the proper decision so comments down below everybody and continuing on let me know if you felt an effect from these energies if you're new to this let me know if you picked up anything different that I didn't mention love to share with everybody that's what this is about and just keep yourself in that beautiful energy of expansion and change. Right.